don't love Janelle Monae. I don't trust you. You don't love Janelle Monae. I don't trust you. I just, I just, I, it feels something in my heart and my spirit. You don't like Janelle Monae. Mm. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Whatever. So happy Tuesday, peeps. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. I'm here with your top threes, all right? My top three topics of the week. It could be any random amount of things. And, yeah. So, I'm feeling good. Uh, you can tell some changes in your girl, huh? A little bit of changes. Change is good, all right? That's evolving. It means that you're moving forward with some stuff. All right, so first off, this is my six-week mark. Six weeks plant-based. Now I got me a little snaggy snack here. Got me some apple slices. I actually feel really good. I feel really awesome. And for me, you know, I feel like I could talk to y'all and tell y'all things that I probably wouldn't disclose otherwise. But for me, I typically have really, really bad cycles, really painful cycles. And the last two months, my cycles have not been an issue. And it's just like, wow, like I used to have really like debilitating, <clears throat> painful cycles. And since I cut out dairy and I cut out fish altogether, I cut out all seafood, I've not been in pain, y'all. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is all I had to do is give up this stuff. I'm not going back. Not going back to that life. No, I feel good. You know, lost a few poundage here and there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to lose some poundage. That's good. But I am so over the moon. I'm really surprised because I didn't really have any expectations of what would happen when I stopped eating dairy and eating everything else. And this was a really awesome, really great surprise. So no more dairy for your girl. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. You know, I kept it 100. I had some Snickers. I had some little bite-sized Snickers, you know. I had a couple of those. And I made it have some fun-sized Snickers, too, you know. I, I can confess that. I didn't, you know, Snickers is that one candy. If they make a, a, a plant-based Snickers, I'm in trouble, okay? I'm in big grown folks trouble, as they say. I'm in grown folks trouble they make a vegan Snickers. I'm just saying, put that out into the universe. All right, so this is six weeks, and it's not horrible. It's not impossible. Um, making sure that you have options ample there and available to you, that's probably the number one thing for me is I had to go grocery shopping more, which was a little annoying. But if you're going to make things happen and work, you got to make some concessions. You got to make some things happen, baby. So I've had to plan a little bit more and plan a little bit better with my meals. I've had some cheat dates. I've had some cheat times. Like I said, I've had Snickers uh, on my birthday. I had some pizza. It was so that pizza was really, really good. Shout out to Marcos. I got that thin crust. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. It's so good. Good, good pizza. You know, you got to treat yourself. You know, you can't treat yourself every day. It's got to be a special occasion to treat yourself. So, shout out to that. But yeah, six weeks plant-based. I'm good on that. All right. Good, good on that. Next. Um, and I'm super late to the party. I'm absolutely late. I am not tardy. I'm absolutely beyond the point of late. I just started Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh. Now, even when I was a flight attendant, I never really got into it because I felt like it was one of those shows that you had to actually be into it. You have to actually be into it. You got to watch it from the beginning. You can't just jump into it. Because if you jump into it like midway, and I hate looking at stuff midway and halfway through because it, it sends all kinds of mixed signals. You get confused. You're missing all the different symbolisms and all the other references. So I started from the beginning, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I watched season one in like three days. So now I'm on to season two. And I ain't going to give away too much. But I got some favorite characters. And I got some least than favorite characters on the screen and i'm just like you know what why are they still alive how come the the guilty didn't get their ass you know what i'm saying how come they still around and it was some people that was like oh man y'all y'all had to do them like that that's how y'all just go go up and just check them out of the, the game that's it they just out of it right 
So Game of Thrones is, I can absolutely see now why people have been so gung-ho about Game of Thrones. It is the truth. Shout out to my brother Bizzle. Bizzle put me on to it. He was like, man, Ash, you got to get on the Game of Thrones, man. Y'all like, he's been talking about it for years. And I want to say it ended maybe two years ago. I think it was more than a year ago it ended. And maybe more than two years ago. Because I, I have a marker in my head as far as like, when things ended and then like when I started that job, it was just, it was a whole crazy time. But I want to say it's been at least two years since Game of Thrones, like and the whole series ended. And yeah, I just never was into it. And I, I got a whole, I had a whole bunch of shows that I was keeping up with anyways. And I was like, I don't need another show. I don't need another show to keep up with. But I'm into season two and ciao. Ooh. And I heard that I, didn't, I haven't even gotten to anything yet. I'm in season two, like episode five, I think. And I've been kind of blindly watching it too because I've been like getting my plant baby set up and everything, you know, because they was having time, they was having a moment. And I was making sure that they cooled and they straight and all that good stuff. So that is that. And last on the topics, my top threes, baby. You see this hair? You see this hair? Shout out to Alok Elegance for always. Doing that extra for you, girl. Give me a little extra, little little sprinklings, little little, little 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 piece here and there. So I just wanted to do something different. I wanted something extra. I didn't want to necessarily do the fire engine red again. The red, I love that red, and I love red period. But one thing that red specifically, it runs a lot. It used to mess up my sheets, my pillow covers. I, um, at some points it would, it would be like dripping down my, the side of my face and the back of my neck. And I'm like, I'm looking like I'm bleeding or something, you know, I love that red, but I wanted to try something different. So she went for more of an auburn color this time around and I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know, as the months and stuff go on, it's going to change and it's going to continue to change and be this big change. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're dealing with right now. But, um, but yeah, this is your girl's hair, you know, got it right and tight and stuff. You know, I just had to do it some kind of way. But, yeah, so that's what your girl's been up to. I've been getting these checks, too. I was collecting some checks, darling. Yes, I love. Well, you're a freelancer, and you can make your own hours, and you can do whatever the heck you want to do when you want to do it. Baby. Life certainly gets a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> it certainly does. So I hope that you guys are having a great week. I just want to say thank you for everyone that's been downloading the podcast. Ash said it daily is on every single platform, baby. Yes. 1,600 episodes. Insane. Over half a million streams worldwide. And I'll say, like, when I started this show... Honestly, it came out of a very negative, a very sad place. I was missing my mama. That was it. There wasn't a whole, like, this big, colossal story behind it. I really was missing my mama, and I wanted something that was going to help take my mind off of it. And I never in a million year years thought that it would be something that would absolutely be my therapy. So I thank you guys for all of your suggestions. I thank you to everyone who's ever been a guest on this show. And we got some big things coming, baby. I can't even make no announcements. Shit, I can't make no announcements. Shit. I can't make no announcements yet. But just keep watching. And stay tuned to, of course, the social media platforms. That's basically it. That's all I got for you today. So it's pretty straightforward. And um, I got some new plan, baby. So I'm going to... I will, I will post soon about my new plant babies because I got some new plant babies and they're, they're just getting situated so probably about next week sometime they should kind of be in a good mood to be seen you know what I'm saying they should be in a good mood but I appreciate you guys thank you so much for your support for your love and it's only up from here baby it's only up from here so follow me on social media if you're not already one love ash the number one l-o-v-e-a-s-h and I'm gonna holla at y'all later Deuces. Bye-bye. See you later.